How's it going guys? Sharplux here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to spot fake Roblox profiles. A lot of you guys might be curious as to what a fake Roblox profile is. Well, they are Roblox accounts set up by scammers used to trick normal Roblox players into giving away their account information. That could be passwords, robo security keys, all kinds of information that you wouldn't want someone else to know. The main thing these scammers want is your Robux, your limiteds, or your in-game items. That could be stuff from Adopt Me or Murder Mystery. Or they just want your entire account. And I wanted you guys to be cautious over this stuff, because yet again they are starting to use a fake YouTube tutorial videos in order to scam players. Kind of like how Nix V, aka Mr. Top 5, got scammed last year. Yeah, it was a shame, but he fell for this method. Luckily he got a rollback though. And since YouTube themselves stupidly decided to remove dislikes on all YouTube videos, these scams are starting to look a lot more genuine. I'll tell you what guys, let's start off the video with this message I got from this guy called Glock. Bloxian. Right, so he sent this to me on the 7th of December, so that was a few days ago. He said, must read termination notice. Oh no guys, I'm getting banned. Hello, I am Jay, Roblox administrator. This account was flagged in our system due to gains in value. Basically, my limiteds have gone up. Right, so Jay over here. Yeah, this idiot. He's after my Roblox limiteds. What a nice guy. I'm simply here to confirm the ownership of your account. If I do not receive a response, I will escalate this situation, which could result in account deletion. He also says here, you can also also try to dispute through our support form. He's just trying to make it look more believable. If you ever get a message like this, just literally ignore it. If you're seeing this message late or just seeing the message now, please contact me as soon as possible. Anyway, he said message me through Discord. I used to like trolling these scammers, but then I realized it's just a waste of time. I'd rather just make a video and warn you guys. Yeah, basically this entire message is fake. The account will probably be banned by the time you guys are watching this video. But yeah, last online three days ago, this account is for automated message for the Roblox team. Very, very basic account, no admin badge, doesn't really own any items. We can clearly see that this account is fake. Just by looking at this guy's profile, we can spot that he is a scammer and he simply wants to take my limiteds. The interesting thing is, normally if you go onto their following list, you can see everyone they tried to scam. Bruh, he really tried to scam me and Crewcraft? Yeah, good luck with that. Alright, that last one was stupid. We could clearly spot that his profile was 100% fake. Let's move on to another one. Got a tweet here from Wolf. He sent this to me in November. He said, this is kind of sus. Right, so this is a message from Jailbreak Team. Oh, I'm going to have to censor this one because it has one of those YouTube scam links. But it says, hey there, this is an automated message from Jailbreak. We have noticed that you played our game for quite a long time. What is this? A Jailbreak scam? Oh, it's the same thing again. We are updating our game and would love to include your avatar in the game as a thank you for playing our game. What a load of absolute rubbish. For doing so, you will be paid out 50k Robux. 50k? Robux for using someone's avatar. That is so silly. Again, completely fake. This is one of those YouTube tutorial texture scams. Never fall for this stuff. Let's take a look at his profile anyway. Jailbreak team, jailbreak xuji5. Last online three weeks ago. Private account of the jailbreak developer team. Again, we can clearly spot that his profile is fake. He's not an admin. He's not a developer. He's even a member in the group. He doesn't own any decent items. We can very quickly spot that this account is a load of rubbish. I think it's fair to say guys that whenever we get these stupid roblox messages we can very quickly realize that they're completely fake so now is the part of the video where i would like to show you guys a message which is a bit more believable so this is a message from a fan now i've censored his name simply because i really don't want his account to be banned basically this guy's account was hacked and the hackers used it to promote the scam to myself so yeah it wasn't the guy himself the hackers used his account and the message says hey shark blocks do you mind reading my offer the fan fact it's not even a copy and paste of my Roblox name suggests they were actually going after my account. That is insane. The message says, I was wondering if me and my friend could use a 3D model of your character in the thumbnail, in the thumbnail artwork for a game that we're creating. I'm happy to pay you for your permission. I can pay you like 8k Robux for group funds or t-shirt payments, but I will need you to send me the model for the avatar. Here is a YouTube tutorial showing you how to get your 3D model. If you are okay with my offer, just get the model and send it to me please. Now this fake YouTube tutorial doesn't even require discord they set this one up very smart and do you guys want to know the funny thing i reported this tutorial to youtube and youtube actually deleted it i'm really happy that youtube listened to me normally they ignore this kind of stuff but no that's really good news but before it was deleted i did get a few screenshots of the tutorial so let's take a quick look at them okay so here's the first screenshot i took of the tutorial and it was actually a girl speaking which i was kind of surprised about she didn't sound too young either maybe she's like 18 or 19 i guess 
guess maybe to some people this might seem a bit more believable as well. It wasn't like a little kid or anything. But yeah, she was basically tricking the viewers into giving away their Roblox security key. In this exact part, she was asking them to copy the ID of their cookie. Then in the next part, she pulled up this very dodgy looking website, which was also linked in the video's description. Do not go to this website. I'm going to censor everything on the page. But yeah, this was some dodgy stuff. And she said, enter your cookie ID in the box and then click on the blue button. Now do not do that. If you do that, your Roblox account will be stolen. It's basically sending your ID to the hackers. Then it gets stored on the hacker's website database. They can simply pull up that database and log into your account whenever they wanted to. And this would bypass two-step and everything. And then it came up with this page. It said success. It had a Roblox texture. Definitely fake. I mean, maybe the texture part is real, but this web page will definitely steal your Robo security ID, Roblox cookie, whatever you want to call it. And yep, I knew this video was a total fake. I knew it was a scam. I reported it to the YouTube support team and they deleted it. The deleted note says this video has been removed for violating YouTube's terms of service. So yep, that's brilliant. So after watching that fake video, I really wanted to check out the girl's profile because the account she was using in the video kind of looked legit. It was wearing some expensive limited items. So here we are on the Roblox website and here is her account. Edi Qx or something. I don't know, horrible username, but it's definitely a username that a rich person might use. The inventory was private, which is a bit dodgy, but then again, loads of people have private inventories these days. Reputation zero, that's on the Ropro plugin. That's a bit strange considering she has 16,000 followers. Anyway, let's take a look at her friends list. So friends, 12 people, most of them are banned. A lot of them do look like compers as well. I thought the following tab was really interesting because these are all of the people they had to follow to message simply to promote a scam to them. So yes, on all of these pages, these will be people that received the scam message. I don't know if these people fell for the scam. Maybe some of them did. Oh no, I feel bad for this guy. Look at this, beamed by Gerati. Even his avatar is wearing a t-shirt that says Ratty was here or something. Bro, what hacker would choose a name Ratty? Bit weird, but there you go. But yeah, I feel bad for this kid. So yeah, following list, that's everyone that they tried to hack. And the followers list, they had 16,000 followers. So I was thinking, how did they get so many followers? Well, it turns out most of these followers are bots, which yeah, that makes sense. They're not well known or anything like that. Their account is actually a fake account, but they added a ton of bots to make it look a lot more believable. Back on her profile, let's take a look at her Roblox avatar, because as you guys can see, it seems to be wearing an expensive limited. A very expensive limited worth 372,000 Robux. Yeah, it's fair to say this one's not very cheap. Well, the interesting thing is, guys, she doesn't exactly own this. If I go and show items, the only things she appears to be wearing is very cheap, which makes me believe this account was probably owned by someone else, or they just added very little Robux to purchase these UGC items. It's either one of those two. This limited was definitely on her account before, but yeah, she doesn't own it anymore. Maybe they equipped it onto the avatar and then used the Roblox trade API to transfer it to another account, but it was still equipped on the avatar just to make this account look rich. I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Last online two weeks ago, it was definitely a throwaway account. Basic Roblox game, not many Roblox badges, no player badges either, they're only in one group. Their favorites list is just Kuromi and My Melody stuff. Yeah, this account is looking proper basic, but I know at first glance, it might look real, which is why I wanted to make this video showing you guys how to spot fake Roblox accounts. So yeah, a very quick recap. The main things which are fake about this account which stand out to me is the missing limited item, the follow account, just the whole account looks kind of dodgy if I'm being honest. No player badges, the friends list is filled with compers. I'm thinking maybe this is just a fake account rather than a stolen one. But anyway, I'm sure if the Roblox admins see this video, it will be banned soon. I'm looking at this account over on Rollymons and I just realized maybe this account was used for storing stolen limited items. I guess it's probably not anymore. It had quite a big dip. Yeah, this account is very dodgy. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. It's always sad to see when you guys get your accounts hacked. Take every message you get on Roblox with caution. Don't believe everyone on the internet. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.